baseball of the minor league variety as the show brings you coverage from the AAA East. Ought to be a good one here between the Iowa Cubs and the Durham Bulls. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Now to the plate, here is Nick Madrigal, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. The 1-1 one -one home. All in all, a great afternoon for baseball. 73 degrees here at first pitch. The 1-2 misses for the second ball. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Got it. The center field. Connor. Stepping in now, Connor Myers. Grounded back up the middle. Reined in. There's one, and a good save at first on the offline throw, so they just get the one. Into the box, Bryce Ball. Now a move over to first, and he just manages to get his hand in. The 1-1 home. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's That's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Three and one to him now. Three, and it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Hit out towards second. Oh, behind the back. One there, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Jason Hayward. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Fouled off. Here comes the 1-2. And he sends it out of play. Counts ball even two. to Hayward. Two balls and two strikes. Two balls. Tough two to strikes. take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing okay. mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Three and two, full count. Nope. He loses him four. on ball four. Ready now is number seven. He'll get his first shot with the bat here. Number seven. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. And now here is Vidal Bruhan. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. One and one, here it is. And he fouls this one off. Here comes the one two. Right side. Oh, look at the sliding stop. It's there, and he's out. So the next to bat will be Jordan Luplo. Jordan. Bases are empty, one man out. Luplo. 
this is foul right side. Got to believe the pitcher and catcher understand the fact that he's covering away and he's covering way away. Don't be shocked if he comes in with something. Ball two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate and he'll have another shot at it here. Fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Now into the box, Josh Lowe looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. The 2-1 is in there for strike number two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he misses this one inside and that'll run things full three and two. Jim Haley would be next. Fouled away. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. The first baseman, Jim Haley. The three and one pitch. High in the air out to center field. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Second inning set to go, and standing in is the DH, Michael Hermosillo. Set and the 1 1 pitch. On that fastball is too much for him. They're 1 and 2. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. So now to the plate, Carlos Sepulveda. Carlos Sepulveda. The 1 1 home. Waves and misses for strike number 2. No score here as we play inning number 2. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And the He's throw out. to first is there to record the second out. And right. now in the box, Andrew Romine trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. There's a swing and a high blast headed for the corner and right. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Here comes the one two misses ball two. Two, and two two out nobody on <laughs> lifted down the line in left left fielder is on the move he's there to make the play and that'll retire the side. of the inning now and set to go as the third baseman Grant K now the one and one pitch well, count for two and one. swing and a hard liner to center field that gets down and he's got himself a base hit Batting fifth, the left fielder. Nick Snell. At the plate now, Nick Schnell. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. All even now, two and two. K aboard here at first with nobody out. Struck him out. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Michael Brasso. First swings for the him in this one with a runner still at first Russell. and one gone. Russell. Now the one and one pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. And now a 
slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. That will be Taylor Walls. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The three and one pitch. Finds the zone to fill the count three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. Count remains full. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, here is Jose Gutierrez, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. The one two. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Schnell comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Nick Madrigal singled in his last at bat. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Count even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the now third. The center fielder. Next to stand Connor. in is Connor Myers, Myers, reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. That's two and two, two now with two away and the base is empty. Two balls. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Now at the plate, Joseph Odom, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The 1-1 one, one. takes a pass and misses. That's one strike two. two. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings, and this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at-bats for this team right now. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at-bat will continue. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And another foul ball. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first no out. Number seven. So the Second batting order man. turns over now and Three set to go. Vidal Bruhan. He bounced out last time up. Set. Here comes the 1 1. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Here he comes again, 1 2. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And there's that number two. Stepping in once again is Jordan Luplo. Struck out in his first at bat. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. And it's fouled away. Push to the right side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. All 
all set for the start of the fourth. And here comes the first baseman, Bryce Ball. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. And he'll lay Correct off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Now the 2-1 pitch. Taken. Strike two. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. Number seven. At the plate, number seven. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. So next to hit is Michael Hermosillo. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. This one's down to third. He's got it. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in the outfielder, Josh Lowe. The 1-1. One, one. Strike two, swinging. The count is one and two. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Number seven finds it, and the throw Pizza. is there to record the first out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jim Haley, flew out last time up. Here's the one and one pitch. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Two balls and two strikes now. One out, nobody on. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Oh, and he struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Two and two. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Carlos Sepulveda. And strike two as the hanging slider was let go. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with the hanger. And the fifth oh. inning will start. Round out, one away. So bases are empty with one gone, and that'll bring up Andrew Romine. Bases are empty, one man out. Count is one and two now. And a 
lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Three. Try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Next, it'll be Jose Gutierrez. He flew out in his last A.B. The 1-1 one, one home. One ball and two strikes to count. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that same pitch. You could tell he jelly-legged him at the plate a little bit. Froze. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next it'll be the outfielder, Nick Schnell. Fastball. Nope. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. And this will be fouled away. Here now the 2-2. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Mike Brasso That's digging into the plate. 0 for 1. Went down looking his first time up. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. Ball is there for it. Makes the play. And there are two gone now. No batter, no Next, six. it'll be Taylor Hooked Walls. Up. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. The batter will be Nick Madrigal. Payoff pitch on its way. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Schnell is right there. And he puts it away for the first down. Stepping in next, Connor Myers. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One out, nobody on. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. Bonnie bailed him out with a swing three and two now. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. Ball four. Now batting the first base. Play. Ball. Able to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Now a throw over to first. Runner back safely. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. Hey, he's been on point from the start of this game. Just pounding the zone with a high 90s fastball. It almost looks like he's gotten stronger as the game's gone on. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that will bring up the multi-gold lover, Jason Hayward. The 1-1 is a fastball center cut. And with just five and two-thirds innings under his belt, he's about to hit the century mark in his pitch count now. Yeah, Matty D in his weight. Swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it.
Now to the plate, Joseph Odom struck out in his last trip to the plate. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north That's of seven, older. eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. The 2-1 home. Popped him up. Number seven has a play. He's got it one away. batter will be Vidal Brujan. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Bases are empty. One man out. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Lifted down the line in left. And it's a foul ball. Two two. Weak grounder down the first baseline. Well, this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Now the pitch. Line drive base hit. Michael Rooker enters to make an appearance on the mound as he now inherits a runner at first with one out in the Go inning. In now, Jordan Luplo. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Revol. This is lifted out to left. Gutierrez is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Up next, Josh Lowe. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. One and two now. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. He's under it, and that ends the inning. So stepping in is number seven. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Ball and two strikes now. What a well-executed fastball right there. Down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Another 1-2 delivery. Hit on the ground toward the left. Fielded cleanly. And the throw to He's first out. is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now with the plate is Michael Hermosillo. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Here now the 2-2. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Striding in is Carlos Sepulveda. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here's a little chopper up the middle, and this is knocked down on the mound. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Jim Haley. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Looked like he was on that one, but it's 1-2. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Soft liner to the right side, but no problem at first, and that's the first out. 
the bat. Next to hit, Grant Kane. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Hit in the air down the right field line. Hayward on the run. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Now back. Next to hit is Nick Schnell. He grounded out last time up. Here comes the one two. Ball. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Josh Fleming has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 19. Stepping up is Andrew Romai. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. The 1-1. One, one. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Next up is Jose Gutierrez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. And this will be fouled away. That's the heavy sinker right there. He has the ability to get ground balls when he needs them, potential double play situations, or to get that jam job with no one on base, that tapper right back to the pitcher. One of the toughest pitches to hit in the game. Next, here is Nick Madrigal. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Line towards center field. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Now batter. The center fielder. Into the box. Connor, Connor Myers. Myers. A ballman two strikes. One and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Luplo is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring up Mike Brasso. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Two, one. That ball Trying three. to shave that outside corner with the fastball, and he missed it. It's three and one now. When you're playing close games like this, Aye. base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Line drive, fair ball down the line. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. Now back. The fifth time. Taylor. Standing in now, Taylor Walls. Two balls, and a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. To two and two now. Two ball, two this is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Two two pitches fouled away. From the belt, the pitch. Three balls, two strikes. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Throw on Got to it. first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. And now, okay. Joseph Oda. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. The 1-1 one, one. is a fastball, then off the plate for a ball. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with one away. Can't connect there, it's 2-2. Two and two. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in, and then he throws a nasty changeup away is the mindset to tell yourself that he's going to go in and out all day. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. He'll come home with it. The tag, and he's safe. And they've taken the lead here in the eighth. Stepping in now, Vidal Buhan fouled off. On 
the ground to second. Did he get his double play? The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Andrew Kittredge comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 36. Andrew. So now here is Bryce Ball. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A B. Again, a one-two. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Here's Jason Hayward now. He went down on strikes last time up. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. 2-2. And he fouls this one off. Here now the 2-2. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. He's got it. On the first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. Next up, number seven. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Now a swing and a miss on a pitch that tied him up in knots, and the ball game is over. Wow, that's a rarity. A one nothing game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitched awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. Durham came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Josh Fleming takes home the win. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of the crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over to theshow.com. Now is our final line score. First for the victorious Bulls. One run, four hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For Iowa, no runs, three hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, a swift two hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.